So Pinterest can be super important to get a bit of notice to your shop. Okay, we've already said that Pinterest searchers aren't necessarily the best buyers in the entire world, but it's useful for so many reasons. Firstly, Pinterest does drive a lot of traffic. So simply the volume of traffic can mean that you end up getting some sales, even if the conversion's pretty low. But also it can give you a good idea of what kind of images people like. So you put up your different images and the ones that do best, you think, okay, maybe that's the kind of thumbnails that'll do well in my shop. And so I just wanna show you today how to create a business account for, your, for Pinterest for your Etsy shop. So we have here my personal account. Um, this I set up many years ago, so it was kind of supposed to be a bit branded towards my shop, but I didn't know about business accounts at the time. So I just wanna show you how we're gonna set this up. So from your personal page, you just wanna go in to these three little dots at the side here, click on them, add a free business account. Uh, so the benefits, I'm still learning about these, but it is pretty awesome that lets you run ads, but you can see your analytics and and just, it shows you more things. It's a bit more useful than a personal account. So let's get started. Okay, so we wanna give it the name. So let's go with the name of, the name of my shop. And tell us about the business. So having a look at everything here, customer goods, products or services is, oh, um, online retail or marketplace. Yep, here's the right one, even says Etsy, so awesome. Next, what do you use to sell your products? Etsy, add your business email, And then we want to link to the website. So you just need your shop. And just paste in your shop URL here. And connect your other accounts to Pinterest. We'll attribute pins from your claimed accounts and you'll get stats on each pin. We'll also use this account's info to help distribute your pins. So, of, so we hit Etsy and it's just saying, do you want to allow access to this? And yes, indeed I do. Um, I'll leave the other two. I don't really want it claimed by my YouTube channel or my could we go Instagram? I actually could go Instagram because it's mainly my needle felties. So we're gonna add on that and authorize. But not gonna claim YouTube just now. Would you ever be interested in running ads on Pinterest? I'm gonna say not sure. I'm not planning to advertise, but who knows what the future holds. and get the browser button, but I've already got that, so we'll skip. And this takes us into your business hub. Uh, no thanks on your survey. And you can copy over your boards from your personal page. So let's see if there's any that's worth copying over. I hope there should be. <laughs> we go fuzzy look felt, that would be a good one. No, that's not work. It's not one to work. Try again. Fingers crossed. No, it's not one to do that. So we'll do it another time. Create pins using images from your site. Now, interesting what they're all showing here, but yeah, let's let's bung in a couple of pins. So this one create my little doggles. Uh, 
so they're offering us some advertising nope we're not going to do that and so as this is just brand new just now I thought I'd show you oh, they're totally trying to get us to do the ads I've so as this one is totally brand new but I've actually just made for my new shop I made a business Pinterest so I'll just show you that what we have to do is go back to me oh hang on hang on hang on Okay, so this, for some reason, is saying the wrong name, so we'll just put it. So we've got that named for, oh, silly me. So it is the right one. So you have to go back to your personal page if you've got more than one, if you've got more than one business page. So back to the personal page. And then me as Paw Prince is my other shop. And those are all connected by the same email. So you get some interesting insights. I've not done much here at all yet. This is something we'll work on. But we're getting shown as I'm getting 130 impressions with only one one link click so far, but I've not worked hard on it yet. Um, no adverts, of course, but there's all the stuff here. Shows all your pins. The banner is revolting. And when we go to analytics, you get lots of data about your impressions, how many people it was shown to, the engagement, the amount of engaged audience and top boards. Well, I've only got the one board, but also this is super interesting. It shows you the top pins and this is other people who have pinned things from my Etsy shop, my Etsy shop that I've claimed with this Pinterest thing. So, all these so all these all these things have been pinned by somebody else and when we have a look we can go to it and we can actually see that it's the UK saved my pin which is pretty awesome so yeah you get to see who else is pinning your pins and you can promote them and it shows the impressions that the pins from other places got as well so that's a little bit of the stats that we're getting just now. I will work on this more in the future and I will take you along for the journey. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me and I hope that helped you see how you can set up a business account. This is the first step on our journey to great Pinterest 